Sensors, sensors everywhere. Kind of a scary thought, actually. Here to tell us more about the state of the art in sensor technology is Michael Niedermeyer. He's an expert in small format high tech devices. We just heard in our report that today's sensors are still huge compared to the size that they'll be in the future. Can we really build functioning nano sized devices? Of course, the sensors and uh, the data processing that works fine. Uh, there is a lot of potential miniaturization um, possible. For the energy and for the antennas, that is uh, complicated. Yeah, the guardian angel sensors that were talked about in this report will have to control a wide range of, of body functions and also be able to communicate with networks. How can something that Tiny cope with such a huge amount of data. Um, everything what you can today make on a computer, there is a lot of technology available to make a, a very powerful system. But the only problem is the power consumption and so the energy size um, when you want to control such large networks. Well, what would the most likely source of power be for, for these types of devices? For the type uh, here, uh, the joggers, for instance, thermal um, converters um, work fine. For instance, in the winter time, uh, you have the possibility that you have a high temperature difference. Um, that means that you can make very small um, temperature uh, converter, but uh, in the summertime there is no much difference between you know, the heat of the body and uh, the surrounding, and therefore these um, become a more bulky um, size. There is, of course, um, as with so many technologies, a flip side to this one as well. What's to keep? bad guys from, from using these kinds of sensors for illegal surveillance. Today we have uh, good um, technologies in the field of encryption. So uh, it must be possible to use a smartphone to enter a special key. And so you can make a very um, safe um, radio communication. Um, but uh, it's a little bit tricky. If you have very small sensors, then some people could also hide these uh, sensors in the fabric and so it will be difficult. There's a uh, potential to make also bad things with such a technology. Now there are about 30 different institutes all over Europe uh, taking a part in the project. Do we just have to accept that this is what the future is going to look like? I think these uh, three, uh, 30 um, institutes, uh, they work on very special fields to make this whole vision um, come true. And uh, we need a lot of special, uh, specialization. Um, it's uh, very important to drive uh, the future. Right. Michael Niedermeyer, thank you very much for joining us on Tomorrow Today.